didn't pay John enough money to do this show. Uh, you so, cheap bastard. Yep. Here, here's John bitching about the money. Kevin was right. Brand <laughs> new show coming your way. But can I address Carla just for a second? Now, Kevin Brennan was right. I'm not saying that Carl ripped me off. I'm not. I don't think he would do that. As much as he trolls me, I don't think he would do that. Don't forget, the name of the show was Skull versus the Troll. What does that have to do with anything? Now, Kevin said I should take a grand 750. <laughs> then he went to 550. I don't think Kurt would be off. I mean, the name of the show is Skull vs. the Troll. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Show off. Well, <laughs> as of now, now there were $300 Super Chats coming in. Not true. Nope. As of now, take a guess how much I got paid from Carl. Take a guess. <laughs> Who's he talking to? <laughs> Any guesses, Tukey? You want to guess? Uh, 300 All right, let's find out. Boom. Take a guess how much I got paid. Yes, we know. $300. $560. Whoa! That's it. <laughs> For one hour of his time. $560. Chad Zumuk paid me more. Yeah, he's an idiot. Dummy. And that's how much I get from the king of the Dabbleverse. Well, I'm probably the king. Mm-hmm. The queen of the dabble There verse. it is. No, that's Chrissy oh. Bear. Well, yeah, Chrissy. I mean, I, I can't call him the jester because he's not funny. Although it was Damn. funny that he only paid me five sixty. I got a guy emailing me. That hurts. John, I sat and counted. 3800 he made. Oh, God. Now, Brandon said that there's no way. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know where we are here. <laughs> but he at least made two Gs. Go back and look at it. Yeah, based I know. On I think I should have got more than five sixty. You have the evidence in based, your hands. Based on what is is a good question. I mean, it was definitely more than two thousand dollars. Okay, if you say so. I think. Yeah. What do you think, Bob? I think though. Thank you. Oh, you're that, welcome. That fucking crackhead. Crackhead Bob, Bob never said you're welcome. So that's true. Okay, so. Let me break down what happened because we did the show and then after it was done, I was quite exhausted. Thank you for the support though. That was awesome. Lots of super chats. We run we run through all the super chats and then my wife and I went out for dinner. Exhausted as, counting all your money. Yeah. And as I'm sitting at dinner, I get a text from John with a dollar sign. That was the entire message. A dollar Whoa. sign. Now, Tuki, I think you probably know about this. The way that YouTube works is you get the money you make the next month on the 21st. Mm -hmm. John needed the money immediately. Now, listen, I'm, I'm good. That's fine. I don't mind fronting him the money before I get it. It's not a problem. So as soon as I got home, I, re I looked through real quick, made a quick calculation in my head how much money I thought we made, and gave him what I thought 50% of it was, which was $560. I Venmoed him that night. So same day. That, and I told him, I go, once I have the final accounting, I'll let you know, and we'll settle, and we'll get this figured out. The next day, YouTube still had not calculated it. So mm -hmm. I go in there, and it says still calculating. So I took a screenshot of that, sent it to John, and said, listen, I'm not holding out on you. I st I'm just waiting for the accounting to come in. So then, the next day, I get this message from John. And he says, and this is what he was alluding to in that video. He says, this guy counted for me. This is all caps. He took in $3,800. He had a few super chats of $300. So $3,800 less 30% equals $2,660. You should have got at least $1,300. Next time, do what Brennan said. Get paid lump sum up front. Brennan is good. Has not said shit about you. Watch out for Alex. He is a troll. Just taking advantage of you. Trying to buy his way in. Be careful with him. So John sent me that entire note for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why he sent all of it. So I wrote back to him. Precisely what you said, because I took the video, I edited the video, put in better audio than what was played live, and I sent it to John. I said, if you want to put this up on your Patreon, here it is, the final video. Unedited, but I improved the sound quality. So I wrote back to John. I go, John, you have the video. If you want, go through 
and, and look at it all because it turns out that we actually, after YouTube got their cut and Apple and whatever else, we actually, I paid him more than 50%. That's how it all worked out. No. Whoa. To John's credit, he did believe me, thankfully. And he even said, and I, I was like shocked by this. Do you need me to Venmo you the difference? And, and I went, John, we're good, buddy. You had the right John, right? Stuttering John Melendez. Huh. Okay. It wasn't Juan. <laughs> That's for sure. It wasn't El Horrible. A man can change. <laughs> It was really impressive. So anyway, I appreciate that. And so uh, I think we're all settled and squared away now. But God damn. Just constantly getting accused of ripping people off and trying to cheat people and shit. It's just not in my nature. I don't want to sound like John, but right. it's just not how I do business. It's not how I do business. It doesn't make any fucking sense to live your life that way. I would like to hear you try and tell a lie. I don't think you would be very good at it. All right. This is John being hilarious right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, pretty good, yeah, right? You are good. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty good. Oh, that was How, a lie. How <laughs> fucking dumb are you? Oh, he's talking about Chad Zumach. So Chad, when John's computer was broken, Chad made a hypocrisy police episode mm -hmm. and he used John's opening and he had John's logo. And so John went, strike. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so Chad couldn't use his channel for a little while. And this is John explaining that Chad's an idiot. How dumb. How fucking dumb are you? So he decided, it gets worse. He also uses my logo. And he also misinforms. That's three strikes. <laughs> Look at those yeah. fucking fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I clipped this. Look at that. Wow. And I'm, I'm just thinking Chad could do all that. That's impressive that compared impressive. to what John still can't fucking do. That's a good point. After watching you with, versus John. Yeah. J John can't do anything. Can't put anything up on his screen. Oh, when so he wanted to present things. Yeah. We should actually talk about it um, a little bit. Talk about what happened on that show. Because there was a lot of interesting moments. Especially when I asked him. This was the most amazing part to me. When I asked him if he had any regrets. Oh, my God. So I go, is there anything you would have done differently? And... Uh, I did not see this coming. I did not see this one coming. He wanted to play football in high school, but he was late for puberty, and he didn't want the boys to see his small, hairless wiener in the locker room. I can't his believe popcorn that. popcorn shrimp. I can't fucking believe that was his one thing that yeah. he regrets in life, is that he didn't play football. And I, I, I was not ready for that. I was like, wait, what? So what position would you play if you're prepubescent in high school? <laughs> it's a it's a football team, right? I, that, that's not the, the the least of your problems that you don't have any hair on your dick. Like, how about getting smashed on the first play you run? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he thought he was gonna be a cheerleader or a line judge. I don't know what he thought he was gonna do. He'll show the world his fingernails. He'll talk about hemorrhoids. Yep. He'll get turned down by girls who can smell him. Yes. And this is his biggest regret. He, I, I was revisiting things because I was doing some research for this. He literally wouldn't go to the movies with his daughter who said, let's go see a movie, Dad. And he said, no, I stink like shit. I haven't showered all day. And there's... Jump in the shower. Yeah, there's no way to... And go to the movie with your daughter, John. No way to remedy and that. And he's the one telling this story, not his daughter. He's the one telling yes. this story. Like, Jesus Christ. He wants a Rudy moment. <laughs> he wanted a Rudy moment. He I wants can't... to be carried off the field and everyone chanting his name. John, John, John. He regrets he never got that. You're right. He thinks he would have been a star. Mm -hmm. You know what my biggest regret is? I was never an NHL superstar. I can't believe oh. I, I didn't do that. What was I thinking? Me too. I should have <laughs> tried. I know. Damn it. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> anyway, I just can't believe that his fingernails are that disgusting. And he loves holding them up. You Talk can't? about OCD. Talk about OCD. If I had shit underneath my fingers like that, ugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he's uh, how he's able to do that. It's pretty impressive. What were he's we talking gross about? Gross and dumb. <laughs> uh, anyway, there was a lot of uh, interesting moments in our uh, our back and forth. I did have to mute him once or twice because he just kept yelling the same thing over it's and over again, and, which is a bit frustrating. And that's the way he argues, though, when he knows he's losing a point. Oh God. That was that was also really funny. So I my brought up because I was calling him out for being a hypocrite, and I brought up the sock accounts, 
and how he called out Howard Stern for telling his staff to make sock accounts, and yet he had sock accounts. And for some reason, in John's mind, that was completely different. So I eventually, because he called me out for something, I go, okay, let's say it's one to one. He goes, this is not one to one. He wouldn't even give me one. Like, well, you ah. finally cornered him on the sock account thing, and he's like, oh yeah, well that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Fuck. I cannot recall. Yeah. Your yeah, honor. He, was, he wasn't sure. That was funny too, because I, I brought up. Yankee fan, Maple Leaf fan, Dombo, uh, mm-hmm. my wife's name, all these different sock accounts that he had. And I, I list them all. I go, were, were those your sock accounts? He's like, I, I don't remember. And then later yeah. on, I go, Clamber and Carl, is that one of your sock accounts too? He goes, no. <laughs> I go, okay, so you remember that. <laughs> you remember the Clamber and Carl is not one of them. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Oh, that was the thing that I was going to talk about when you brought that up. So he was, he really wanted to present things for me. He wanted to show me screenshots and things like that. So he was asking me beforehand how to do that. I said, well, there's a little present button. Hit that. I'll pop it up on the screen. You know, I'm, I'm happy to go back and forth with you. Every time he pops something up, I couldn't read it. I didn't know what he was showing me. He showed me the same screen like three times and made four different points. I, like, I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're proving here. I don't understand it. But maybe someone else can go back and watch and, and tell you what happened because that's his unique teaching style. I bet. It, yes. I think you're right. So, again, talking about the screenshots, John has the screenshots. Unlike what Carla is trying to tell you, I am not somebody that wants to cancel anybody. The only reason I was trying with Carla, not to mention because he was trashing my children, but also, and even promoting it, I have the screenshots, Carla. I hope you still want to do the show tomorrow, or have you chickened out? I should mention, this is the Tuesday show that we're playing clips of. And so John says, oh, I have the the screenshots. Now, he's lying. He tried to get my Patreon taken down because there were game rewards on my Discord. That was the reason he gave Patreon. So he's either lying to me or he's lying to Patreon or something. But he says it's because I'm trashing his kids. I'll clarify it one more time. Saying, wow, those kids sound like losers is not trashing your kids. I don't pay attention to who they are, what they do. I don't know their names. Uh, of, cor- of course, I know Lily now because she had the article that we read. So I, I know that. You're right, John. I do know one of the kids' names. I don't know. I don't know the one that transitioned. I don't even know what they transitioned to and from. I don't know any of that shit. I don't care. I don't care about any of that stuff. And John just holds on to that I was trashing his kids. I wrote in the description of the very first easy for you to say review. That, oh, and we spend a lot of time trashing John's kids. I can't believe how fun this is. Yeah, yeah. It's more fun than you'd think. Which More fun than you think. Which was a troll. That was me trolling John. Right. Specifically, and he fell for it. Yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. Don, they're trashing my kids! He's right, see, he wrote it right here! That's the joke, idiot! <laughs> Fucking moron. We should trash his kids now. I've already been accused of it. I, I was going to say, like double jeopardy? John, you do not want this guy trashing your kids. <laughs> It's like it's like double jeopardy where it's like, well, I've already been accused of it and convicted. So yeah. KB saying I did it. Uh here we go. John saying I did it. <laughs> what do you want to start with? God damn it. I might as well at this point. Jesus. Yeah, let the punishment fit the crime. I'm actually gonna trash Cardiff's kids too. <laughs> oh. Not the little tears. Trashing everybody's fucking kids around here. Cardiff, those fucking kids of yours. <laughs> Started paying attention. <laughs> Oh, he played Patty. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> All right. So John's mad at me again. This is back on Tuesday. John's mad at me because in a private text conversation that Tukey's a part of, Tukey, you're there. Yay! Yes! That was my favorite part of the interview when you went be dabbler and then the look on John's face. Yeah. And he went, Who's, Who's that? <laughs> You're doing it again! That was great. Yeah. Now, why, why would John do this on the Tuesday show? Bring up every single point that he's going to bring up. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of did on Shuley's show that morning, so I don't know. Okay. What are you going to do? So, I was in a private text thread where that attorney guy said something about because it was already out there. This is the thing. Right. Muttering Jay had already scooped where John moved to, the town that he moved to in Florida. And I saw on our subreddit, somebody goes, holy shit, these guys are neighbors. They didn't give out the address or anything, but people had already pieced this together. This is public information. And when you buy a home and it's a real estate transaction, it is made public. John thinks you have to have, uh, you have to be a realtor to get this information or an attorney. Not true. There's a website you can go to, type in names, see where people live yeah the people in reddit were not doxing you they're just they weren't they just like they're like holy shit yeah so the attorney guy 
asks me about that because he knew. And I went, yeah, can you fucking believe it? We're, we're neighbors. What are, the, what are the chances of that? It's insane. It really is crazy. It really is. And of course, this attorney guy who needs a lot of attention all the fucking time decided to take that screenshot, put it on the internet. We've talked about this many times. So now John claims that because of that, that's why Chad Zumach knows where John lives. And now he's blaming me for things that he thinks that Chad Zumach is going to do. And I just want to remind everyone that what Chad did was tweet. This is John's reaction to a tweet. And what happens? I have to call the Tampa police. I have to file a report. Thanks, Carla. I have to call our police department, Carla, and get them to drive by my place every half hour. Yeah. Because of your negligence and your lack of integrity. So love- your stupidity. Yeah, he doesn't know what hip- uh, hypocrisy means. No. He also doesn't know what have to means. Yeah, very good point. So it's not Chad's fault who made this threat. It's not the attorney's fault for posting it. Yeah. So when his house gets vandalized and burned to the ground, it's my fault. Because I, I texted a friend of mine that I thought I could... Give him some personal information about myself. Okay, that makes sense. Also, I'm sorry, we have Karen Melendez here. Stuttering Karen Melendez is calling the police department. This is literally out of a South Park episode. Calling mm-hmm. the police and saying, there, there's a tweet. It, there's a hashtag in the tweet. I need a patrol car <laughs> at my house every hour. It sounds like you're not taking this seriously. Let me talk to your manager. <laughs> Imagine if Scott the engineer called the police because the receiver on his phone was taped down. Right. I'm being harassed. I'm being harassed at work. They're tying a string to a dollar bill and laughing at me. This, this is the level that, that John is at. And he loves to threaten other people, as I've pointed out. Many times, John said that a biker gang was going to make my life interesting in my new uh, place in Florida. And I go, well, John, that's threatening. You're threatening me with that. He's like, ah, I was joking. No, they were going to come over and do interesting things. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> to your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what biker gangs do now? Mm-hmm. They no. come over and fuck your butt? No, wait, no, they do not. No, uh, no, biker gangs are cool. Tukey likes biker gangs. Actually. Don't come I after th- me. I think I know uh, who's going to do what to people's butts. Note to self, don't trust Carla. Mm Mm-hmm. Because Carl will fuck you. Rainus! (laughs) It's sometimes mouth. All right. He's a fag. This is really funny. John's trying to explain that I can't be threatened by him. Because he doesn't have a criminal record. You know, obviously, Chad Zumach does. But John wants to take credit for this. I think you know that you can trust me. You know, I don't have a criminal record unlike other people. Mud shark. Yeah, those are the actions of someone you can trust right there. Well, also... This is like a Chris Rock bit. You're not supposed to have a criminal record. He's trying to take credit for it. Hey, look at me. I don't even have a criminal record over here. I'm like, okay. Yeah. It's not that impressive, honestly. Is that picture a green apple coming out of a vagina? A pe- it's a pepper in a, in a butthole. Oh. <laughs> and it's up on the screen the whole fucking time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. Getting hungry. I get my fruits and vex- uh, vegetables mixed up. And vaginas and buttholes. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> is that a vagina or a butthole? Ah, whatever. Yeah, well, whatever. It's, a, it's a good question for an alien. It'll all come out in the wash. Now, I've already played for you during the uh, the Karen Brennan segment, John playing his Fatty Patty song, mm-hmm. which we all agreed was brilliant. The melody well, was great. The guitar playing was fantastic. The jokes. Patty, patty. Oh, my God. The jokes. The intro, the outro. Patty, patty. No, I went fatty, patty. No, did it? See? Yes. <laughs> I guess it wasn't that catchy. Fatty, fatty, fatty. I can't remember now. I can't remember now either. I'll have to go back Shit. and watch the tape, I guess. But he's also got a song for uh, Bob Levy. This guy's just so clever. It's it's really incredible he can pull this stuff off. KB. K 
KB, don't be afraid. Get rid of Levy. He ain't your friend. He's doing it for the only cash. What? <laughs> he can accrue, can accrue on your coattails. Hacky, 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 Is there something ironic about this? Is there some irony going on right now? I'm trying to figure this out. What's happening right here? Did he say crouton your coattails? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something about that. The only cash you can accrue on your coattails. Good lyrics. Pretty funny jokes in there. These are like the same. This is the same thing Jake Hudson does on his streams, where he just makes up songs and sings. It's terrible. I'm starting to think there might be some uh, comparison. I'm starting to think you're right about that. Mm -hmm. Jake Hudson's probably a little more talented, but I know what oh, you mean. Absolutely. But no, according to John, he has never been sharper, and I'll tell you why that is. Do uh, uh, you think Klonopin is rotting your brain? No, not at all. I ha That's I a Klonopin talking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you tell them no, people. John. I play all the video games. You're not video games. I do oh, words wow. with friends. I do Wordle. I what? do fucking trivia crack. I'm always keeping my brain active. And hydrated. <laughs> Holy shit. He thinks playing words with friends makes him smart. This is the guy who's teaching children at school. Did you know there's more than one way to spell two? <laughs> Don't get me started on there. Holy shit. I can't believe he just bragged about playing Wordle. I know, I'm embarrassed for him since he's incapable of it. Yes. These guys never, just stink at Wordle. That's the problem. Oh, I fucking rock. Sharper. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, then okay. You're going to live a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Staying hydrated, too. All right. So yes. now he's going to start talking about Anthony Cumia. And uh, he's going to he's gonna expose Anthony Pop Cumia. Race. Watch out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll be on TV August 15th to. Uh, Expose Anthony Cumia for being the fucking transphobic piece of shit. It'll be on Hulu and Vice. Yep. Hulu and Vice, just another one of my TV credits. Oh, God. <laughs> so proud of himself. Now, I think what he's talking about here, there's this series. I haven't watched it yet. But there's a series about the radio wars of the 90s and 2000s. Tuke, you look like you know what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's uh, by the same guys who did the Dark Side, uh, the Ring uh, thing, but it's like Dark Side of the 2000s. Okay. And one of the episodes, yes, is about the radio wars. Okay. So I think what John is saying is that he's going to be brought in as one of these talking head guys that they go to to recount the times he was on the Stern Show and they were battling with Opie and Anthony. And his big reveal is that Anthony's transphobic because Anthony was goofing on John's uh, kid. I doubt that's going to make the air. No. That, that's a, a more recent thing that's going on. It's nothing to do with you working for Howard Stern and him being on Opie and Anthony. But John's convinced that, that they're going to use that. We'll see. And maybe they will. I don't know. And then make sure you get in there that he was part of a scheme where they didn't give out posters at a live show. <laughs> yeah. People should know that. Oh, my gosh. I watched the Jackie Martling doc. And John's in that, too. And he, John just always makes it about himself. Everything he says. Is just making it about John. Opie's in it for maybe three seconds. Opie's not interesting in any single way. <laughs> Anthony's in it quite a bit. But um, I like Jackie Martley, but it's such a self-serving doc. It's just mm -hmm. all about how amazing he is. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing new in it. No. You know, it was just he had to get that documented and out there. So before he at, died. At the end, at the end, he's, he's like, and we tried to get... Robin and Howard and Fred, they all said no. It's like, yeah, I, I wonder why. Shocking. <laughs> That's Shocking. always great to have in your doc. Yeah, right. All the people I worked with for all those years, they don't want to talk. <laughs> Tried to get the weekend. <laughs> but John Melendez said yes. He had nothing on the calendar. <laughs> he, he was able to do it somehow. 
All right, so we're talking about Anthony, and the thing that John's really good at is name calling. And I think that's because he was doing that political show for so long. He got really good at calling people names because that's always a good argument. If you're going to talk about how you don't like somebody, yeah, this smirk on his face right now is disturbing. I'm sorry. I just looked over at him like, oh, it's ghoulish. Oh, man. He looks like. He looks like you just pulled out a big wad of bills out of your pocket. Yes. He's like, whoa, you got some of that for me? Yeah. <laughs> he looks like cartoon... someone just dropped a quarter in his coffee. <laughs> Something. Uh, more of a cartoon villain. Yeah. From the 80s. <laughs> All right. Sorry. This is uh, this is Gargabel. Name calling 101 right here. I would never, ever lower myself to do a show with somebody that I no is a staunch homophobe, racist, trans, transphobic, anti semite like That takes Cardiff out. Pocky. Hmm. I would never, oh. ever do it. Now, yes, was I on a show in the past? Yes, but I didn't know then. <laughs> okay. Now, if I were to tell Anthony... That John called him a homophobe, a racist, a transphobe, an anti semite. I think Anthony's response would be anti semite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I know. I can't speak for him, but I'm just guessing that would be. This is the laziest thing you can do is just be like, oh, that guy's a transphobe and a homophobe. He's like, no, he just thinks you're a shitty father. I don't think he has anything against trans people. He was just calling you out specifically. It's like, for example, I don't like Cardiff. That doesn't make me a homophobe. I don't hate all gay guys. I just don't like Cardiff. Mm -hmm. Do you see mm -hmm. how that works? Oh yeah. Okay. I, I'm not. I'm not a fan of where this is going. <laughs> right. Now, John is going to explain what his role is in the Dabbleverse, in case you didn't oh. already know. I'm intrigued. Right. Let's just face it, people. Mm -hmm. I'm the goat. <laughs> I'm the one that they go to DabbleCon to celebrate. celebrate. I'm the one they go to the Dabbleverse to celebrate. Yeah, we speak your I'm name. The goat. <laughs> I'm the goat. I'm the goat. All, all lowercase. Yeah. Whew. I'm the one who smells like a barn animal. Yeah. I'm the goat. <laughs> yeah, people. <laughs> he goes. They go to Dabble the Dabblecon to celebrate him. We, <laughs> we laughed as drool fell out of your mouth. <laughs> the entire place went nuts. Yeah, I don't know if it's a celebration. For, I don't know, eight hours, I believe. Yeah, I mean, all weekend. Yeah, I, and it never got old. It by never the way. got old. It yeah, got, it funnier got better and, and better. Yeah, and then we sacrificed trans children and drank their blood. <laughs> Tukey, all in your name, Tukey. That's how the what DL happens at DabbleCon. Right, stays yeah. at DabbleCon from Ugh. Golden Goblets. All right. I guess I wasn't there for that. That must have been the same time that people were pissing on people's clothes and hotel See? rooms. And yeah. See, the puppet admitted it. See, of, the puppet admitted it. A lot of shenanigans were going on there. I think the puppet's voice is changing. Mm -hmm. now, He's trying to do a stuttering job. I see. Hack. Tukey, Tukey doing stuttering job. I see. Okay. I understand now. When Tukey does Kevin Brennan, it's not Tukey doing Kevin Brennan. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> he outsources it. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, did you not like the uh, sponsorship drop for the Kevin Brennan segment I sent you? Oh, shit. I don't know. When did you send that to me? No, he didn't like it. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll look for it in a minute. I'm sorry. I, I forgot you sent me over some things. My apologies on that. The, uh, the potato has been on the fuck Kevin Brennan thing for a long time here mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. the one who got the chant going at Pottstown, mm -hmm. and uh he's ahead of his time oh some interesting clips have been uh surfacing on twitter since the fkb movement started oh yeah like, oh kevin the brennan N using the n-word i wonder yeah. if john will still go on kevin brennan's show now that's a that's a good point that's a good question mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm not saying we should cancel kevin brennan but will no, john i don't think continue so. to go on that show i can't believe it took this long for those videos to surface yeah, I mean, it's something about being on compound media. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of guys on that network who are screaming that word for some reason. Mm -hmm, Go figure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, we know that John wanted to set up a boxing match, not just with him and Shuley, but with him, Shuley, Bob Levy, and Mike Morse. Yeah. He was going to fight all three opponents 
It was going to go six rounds, two minute rounds, two minutes in between each round. He had it all figured out. Uh, the UFC style gloves, yeah. smaller gloves. And uh, he was going to go whatever order they wanted to bring them in, but it would go like two rounds with one guy and then two rounds with the next guy. And he was going to beat them all up. Yeah. Probably they'd be taken out, out of the ring on someone's shoulders with everyone cheering. <laughs> <John>. <laughs> yep. His Rudy moment. It would be his Rudy moment. He was all excited about it. So somebody says, well, what are you afraid of, Chad? Why won't you box Chad Zumach? Thanks for the two bucks. I noticed you didn't challenge Chad to box. Afraid? Chad, I'd box you any day of the week in the ring, any time. Is that cool, Tilton? Mm -mm. couple dumb things about that. First off, after he challenged those guys to a boxing match, he said, you guys got to get back to me soon because I'm going to start training for this thing if we're going to do it. Instead of just being like, maybe I should get into good shape anyway. He goes, if we are going to box, you got to give me a few months to get into shape. And now he's saying he can take on Chad any day of the week. Also, that's a bad idea. Like a, a Tuesday morning, you're not going to get as much attendance there. <laughs> yeah, I would go for like a Friday or a Saturday if I was doing this. Talk to your agent. Yeah, not any day of the week. Doesn't even make sense. Any time. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> Three in the morning. Yeah, do it at a time when people will be there, John. <laughs> after work's over. Dummy. That's all I'm trying to say. Now, one thing I know about poor people is they have old shitty phones. Poor people hate buying new phones. Phones are expensive. Their old phone still works kind of, so they don't see a, a need for it. Poor people don't buy a new car until their car breaks down. They don't buy a new phone until they absolutely have to buy a new phone. And uh, But John has a John. I just did it. I just did the thing that he says I do. John has an excuse for this. John! Uh, John! <laughs> Stutcho has a very good excuse for why he has the oldest phone probably still in circulation today. Mm -hmm. I, have an, I have an iPhone 6SE. That wasn't a good phone when it came out. What? An iPhone yeah. 6SE? That was a stopgap for Apple. Oh, god damn. All right. Let's find out why that is. Let's get the excuse here. Like, oh, I thought a millionaire like you should be able to afford something. Yeah. And yeah, Troll Hunter and Colgate. Like, yeah, why are you giving them oxygen? Because, first of all, <laughs> Apple and is second. ripping us off every day and every night. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every it. day they have a new way to plug it in. Mm -hmm. Every what? Apple device has new chargers that you got to get. It's a scam. I just want to point out, I'm not an Apple fanboy. I do use their stuff. It works. I like it. But iPhones have had two different chargers. In 12 yes. years. Right. It changed one time. Yeah. It's changed once. Okay. Just want to point that out. And, and isn't he also brag about his uh, stock portfolio containing Apple stock? Oh, of course. Isn't he a yeah. big but he, but he doesn't, investor? He doesn't want to support them in any single way. He's going to explain why. I just invested in apples, actually. <laughs> I like that he thought someone would try to insult him by saying, Hey, Bill, a millionaire, why don't you have a new phone? No one thinks you're a millionaire anymore, yeah, John. Yeah, <laughs> I picked up on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No one's even pretending that could be a possibility at this hey, point. Hey, you handsome no. rich man. <laughs> yeah. Especially, especially when people in castles in Rochester continue to rip him off on podcast appearances. All right, Giant Cardiff. houses. <laughs> All right. Giant. <laughs> Astonishing with most. And I refuse. As long as this phone calls out, mm -hmm. I refuse to upgrade it. You're a hero. Because I... I don't want to give Apple any more of my money. Okay. You just heard him say he does not want to give Apple money. Now listen to what he says after that. This makes him sound stupid. I own an I own a I own a MacBook Pro. I mm -hmm. own an iPhone. Mm -hmm. I own another backup Apple that I can't remember the password for, although it's too old to stream anyway. It mm -hmm. used to stream. But everything's Apple. I got my son an Apple computer. Got my daughter an Apple computer. I got my oldest son an Apple computer. Everything's Apple. Kind of shitting on his own point, isn't he? <laughs> but they fuck you every second that they can. <laughs> and they got people 
in China, kids working for him. Oh, fuck mm-hmm. Apple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just listed he had, he's bought six different devices from this company that he hates. That is child labor and suicide nets building this equipment. And I don't know if John knows this, but there are other computers and phones available for purchase. Yeah. I don't know if he knows that. Ooh. 